that's here to deliver. The Spirit of God is here to set people free. If you've never been in a Pentecostal church, sometimes it seems kind of different. They do things different. I was not raised in this. I've been, I was raised a Roman Catholic. They don't do this. But I want you to know, my God wants to touch us no matter who we are. Somebody once said, is, Jesus never acted like that. Might be true, I never read where he acted like this. But I do know when Jesus touches somebody, they react differently. I saw a man get touched at the, at the golden gate. He was crippled. And he got up jumping and leaping and he was healed. That's our God. When God touches us, Something happens inside us. So don't be uh, uh, judgmental of the way people act. Some people have been delivered from many, many things. And when God touches people, he sets them free. So if you're sitting here today and there's things in your life there is a God that's in this house that is trying to come into your life to make you better. He's coming into your life to take away bitterness and hurt and pain and give you peace, joy, love like you've never had before. Oh, honey of a heart. But our God came to this hour. We know that Easter is a time of celebration and for the Christian faith around the world to, to know that it is to recognize there was a God that died for our sins. But he didn't stay dead. He rose again. What's that to say? You can rise again. You can have a brand new life. That's right. A brand new resurrection. That's right. You can be born again. Change. A changed life. And Titus was talking today just like he did back almost 2,000 years ago when he wrote the book of Titus. He said there was one looking for that which is blessed. We, we're looking for something that's blessed and hope. And the glorious appearing of our great God, our Savior Jesus Christ. I'm looking for that day when he re reappears and comes back the second time. 2,000 years ago, he got out of the grave and appeared the first time. <laughs> they thought they killed him, but he walked among them. <laughs> Would that make you a believer if you saw the guy die? And four, uh, three days later, he was walking around the city again? That would change you. But blessed is the one that has not seen but yet believe. Amen. So that's why we're blessed. Because we believe in his resurrection, yet how we didn't see it. That's right. But Titus went on to say, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous for good works. 
A peculiar don't mean that you're odd. Strange. A peculiar is that you're a set apart. That all of a sudden, the things in this world don't matter as much as the things of God. And then they turn and they become zealous into the good works. That means they're excited about the good things of God. That's why I'm excited to see you here today. I am excited to see people set free. I am excited to see people delivered at this hour again. Hallelujah. It is a great God that we are living and a great day. Redemption. Titus talked about being redeemed. It is. Redemption is paying a ransom. Paying the price. Paying her or to let loose. He paid the redemption price. What did it cost for you and me to be redeemed? Jesus Christ himself came to us over 2,000 years ago to celebrate and to give us her life and life everlasting like no other. Not just to the people of the Jews, but us Gentiles. If there is a Jewish man here, the matter of fact, the man that did most of the trim work in this house was a Jewish man, a son of a... Uh, of a, of a uh, a, a Levite, uh, one of the tribe, but he came here, received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, uh, was baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, us Gentiles have to be baptized in Jesus' name. We have to repent of our sin. We have to be filled with His Spirit to have a brand new life. Our spirit has to change. And the only way our spirit can change is by a stronger spirit comes inside us to change us. I used to tell my mom, I'll never do that again. But uh, until that spirit of God came in me, I could never uh, subside of the thing inside me, my flesh, uh, until I yielded my spirit unto the Most High God and He delivered me from my sins and my, my passion and changed my passion to a place where I'm going to worship the King of Kings because He came and redeemed my soul from sin. Oh, give him a great big hand clap. We are redeemed by Jesus Christ in James chapter 1, verse 14. It says, Every man is tempted wherein he draweth away of his own way, lust and enticed. Our flesh is our biggest battle. It is one that wants to do the things that is contrary to God. Uh, uh, you know, one of the things is do not drink blood. I've heard people just, you know, just laugh at it and, 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 and say all kinds of things. But I remember when I was young, uh, they went out and slew a cow and grabbed the blood and brought it into the kitchen and everybody had some. It is against uh, the word of God. Uh, don't you uh, think it's some foreign country? It happened right here in America. It, it happened right here. So uh, things of the Lord, how uh, we are enticed to the lust of our flesh and the lust of our things. But John goes on to say uh, 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 that when that lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And when sin has Finish it, bring it forth death. Sin brings death to our lives. But Jesus came to conquer death, hell, and the grave. He came to set people free that you do not die 
anymore. You do not die in the pit. You don't go to where the enemy, the devil is supposed to. Uh, it's only reserved for the devil. Uh, 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 death, you, a lot of people, uh, preacher, I, I just seen a funeral. I just seen them laying there. I just seen them there. Uh, 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 I say, oh, uh, they might be there uh, in a casket, but they're just asleep waiting for the resurrection of the Lord. Uh, when the Lord calls us home, uh, when the Lord calls us out, uh, uh, the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we that are alive and remain will all join him in the air. We're all going to raise up and leave him. That's what Jesus came to redeem. Redeem man that they're not stuck in sin. Right. Ever been stuck in the mud? Ever been stuck? Ever been feel like your life is in a, in a rut? I go to one end and it's a, it's a dead end. I go turn around and go to the other end and it's a dead end. Let me tell you, the Lord has come to lift you out of the rut, uh, lift you out of uh, being stuck, uh, has lifted you up uh, to set you free, uh, to lift you up and redeem you from all sin. Uh, he came to set us free. He came uh, uh, to redeem us uh, by his own blood. Uh, he came and sacrificed himself just for you and me. That's our God. Give him a great big hand clap of praise. <laughs> Adam and Eve, they lusted after the fruit, and they ate the fruit. How the Lord said, if you eat of the fruit, you shall surely die. Four, five, six hundred years later, they did die. But they died. Looking for a redeemer. But when they sinned, there had to be blood shed. For without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. So them animals he slew to clothe them. Uh, uh, he slew and their blood was shed. From that very on, they were sacrificing animals and covering up their sins by the blood of lambs and sheep and goats. And, 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 and they uh, covered up their sins by the blood of the Lamb, waiting for the great and uh, noble day of the Lord to come, uh, that he was going to shed his own blood, uh, uh, that no longer do we have to uh, slay animals to cover our blood, uh, our sins, but he came to deliver us, to set us free, that we have no more sin, not so ever in our life. Oh, First Colossians said, and having made peace through the blood of the cross. Jesus had to die. Sin came in to this world by the first man. Sin came in by the first man. Sin was brought into this world. That we suffer. Uh, uh, sin brought us in. And, uh, and, and now uh, the second man has became a, a living soul. A, a one that deliver us from all of our sins. And the greatest story of redemption <laughs> happened just before the crucifixion. There was a man sitting in prison waiting to be put to death. He was a murderer. He was rebellious. He caused trouble. And the Roman Empire wanted to do away with him because he caused insurrection. He caused a mighty hus. Uh, acts of violence on, in the God. city and destroyed. He was proud and high, high, highest. He thought he was better than everybody else. He was a robber, a stealer. Some have said that uh, his very name meant arrogance and haughtiness. And his name was 
Barabbas. Sinner. And Jesus was standing before Pilate. He brought him out. Do you want Jesus, the king of the Jews, sir? And they yelled out, we want Barabbas. We want Barabbas. We want Barabbas. We want the sinner. We don't want Jesus, the righteous, the Jesus. Ha, ha, ha. He said, we don't want him, but we just want the sin. We want this man. So Pilate turned Jesus over to be crucified. We never read any more about this Barabbas. But I can just imagine what happened. He saw his two buddies get dragged out. They were in prison waiting to be crucified and they were taken out. And here Barabbas said, well, here they come. I'm next. Uh, they're going to come and get me. And all of a sudden they said, you are set free. If you were going to be crucified, put to death because of your own sins, and then all of a sudden they said, you are set free, you'd say, for real? You're not playing with me, are you? You're not. Do, do you remember what I did? Oh yeah, we remember. Do, do you know what I did? Do you know uh, uh, how my trouble uh, I caused? Uh, and, and you're saying I'm being set free? How can I be set free? Somebody had to pay the price. And they said, Jesus, Jesus came to set you free. Jesus said, I'm taking, the, I'm taking your place. Because Pilate looked at Jesus, don't you have anything to say? Aren't you going to defend yourself? And he said, not a word. So today, you might be like a Barabbas. But Jesus has just come into your life to set you free. Oh, I feel God coming in here. Oh, church worship right here. You might feel like you're a Barabbas. You might feel like you might feel uh, like there's really no hope uh, to the to the guillotine I go. But but Jesus decided, say, you know what? I come to die for you. I come to set you free. I come to let all your sins be washed away. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a brand new life. I have not read any more about Barabbas, what happened to him afterwards. I have not delved into the history of if he was, what happened to him. Could he have been there amongst the 3,000 saying, oh man, there's that. I'm going to worship that one Jesus that saved me. I deserve what I got, but he took my place. That's where we are today. He took my place. So why don't you say to yourself, you know, I'm going to worship him. Why don't you lift up your hands right here and say, God, I love you. You, you delivered me. You set me free. Oh, God, help me. Oh, that's it. Why don't you worship him right here? If he's helped you through your life, I want you to praise him. I want you to give him glory. I want you to lift up your hands and praise his name. For his name is holy. His name is righteous. Oh, Let's stand. Oh. <laughs> what do you need from God today? He has come today just for you. Oh, Pastor, there's
are so many other people. That don't matter. He came just for you. He came for you. He came to help you. Why don't you lift up your hands and say, God, I need you to touch. God, I need you today. My God, I love you, Jesus. That's it. Why don't you live? Yeah, that's it. Worship him right here. You haven't spoken in tongues for a long time. Speak in tongues. Uh, uh, if you need a renewing, that Holy Ghost is still there. It's still wanting you. He's never left you. He wants you to be touched again. He wants you to be renewed again. To you that have not had the Holy Ghost, have never experienced, He wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost today. He wants you to be lifted up today. He wants you to be set free today. Hallelujah, hallelujah.